One of the key uses for computer systems nowadays is to play sounds or music. Most mobile phones now act as music players either as stored files or streaming from sites like Spotify. In order to do this, we need to turn music into a digital format for storage and then we need to convert them back to sound for playback. Converting music into a digital form means we need some way of storing it using binary. Sound itself exists as a wave, just like the sea. It has peaks and troughs. The bigger the wave, the louder the sound. The height of the waves is called the amplitude. Sound waves are an example of analog data, which means they are a continuous wave. They don't have any breaks. However, computers don't store analog data, so sound needs to be stored in a digital format. In other words, in a sequence of ones and zeros, or binary. The device used to turn analog sound into digital numbers is called an analog to digital converter. The process of analog to digital conversion can be described as follows. The analog sound is recorded by a microphone. This is converted into an analog electrical signal. The amplitude is measured at regular intervals. This process is called sampling. The values are rounded to whole numbers. This is called quantization. These values are stored as binary numbers. The quality and file size of a sound recording can be affected by the sample rate and duration. A sample is taking a measurement of something at regular intervals. Let's look at a phrase in English. If we took a sample every five letters, we would get the following. From this sample, it's pretty much impossible to recreate the original message. If we took a sample every two letters, we would get this. It's still nowhere close to the original message, but we can at least make a better guess. The more samples you take, the closer you get to the original message. The number of samples you take per second is called the sample rate. The higher the sample rate, the closer your recorded sample can get to the original sound. Let's look at the sound wave we sampled earlier. Notice that the bits between the samples are lost. However, if we took more samples, then our recording will be more accurate. The sample rate is measured in hertz, which is the number of samples in one second. A sample rate of one hertz is one sample per second. A sample rate of 1000 hertz is 1000 samples per second. A sample rate of 44,100 hertz is 44,100 samples per second. And this is the typical sample rate used in music recordings. If a sample rate means better quality audio, then why not have the largest sample rate possible? Well, the more samples you take, the more data you're storing, and therefore the larger your file size. Another factor related to sample rate that affects your sound file size is the duration. By duration, we mean how many seconds of audio there is in the audio file. As we've seen, the sample rate is measured on a per second basis. If we're taking 100 samples per second, this will create a smaller file size than using 200 samples per second. However, if the file with 100 samples per second lasts for 5 seconds, then that will be 500 samples. The longer the duration of audio, the more samples we will take, and therefore the more data we will store and the larger our file size will be. An additional factor that will affect the quality and file size of sound is the bit depth. As stated earlier, each sample is the height of the wave which is stored as a number. The number of bits used to record this sample number is called the bit depth. If we use 2 bits per sample, we can only store 4 numbers, 0, 1, 2 and 3. If we use 4 bits per sample, we can store 16 different numbers. What this does is it gives us a greater range of numbers to record the sample number, allowing us to have far greater precision. Let's assume we have a 2-bit bit depth and we're recording some audio. The graph you can see shows an analog wave being sampled using 2 bits. Remember, as part of the sampling process, quantization is performed to round the values to a whole number. This might lead to the following values being recorded for the above analog wave. If we reconstruct this audio using the values we recorded, it might look like this. Obviously, this is a huge departure from our original audio. Now let's record the same analog wave using a 4-bit bit depth. 
We then perform quantization as before. We can then reconstruct it back to an analog wave and it might look like this. We've had to round our values down far less and have been able to record the values much more precisely, giving us a more accurate recording of the audio. However, the larger the bit depth, the larger the file size as we're using more data to record each sample. Knowing the sample rate, duration and bit depth will allow us to calculate the file size of a sound file. It's actually a very simple calculation. We simply perform the following steps. Multiply the sample rate in Hertz by the bit depth in bits. This gives us the bits used per second. Multiply the result of this by the duration in seconds. This gives us the total number of bits. Divide the total number of bits by eight. This gives us the total number of bytes of data to store the sound. We could then divide the total number of bytes by 1024 to get the file size in kilobytes. You can then divide again by 1024 for megabytes. So if you recorded a conversation on your phone for two minutes at a sample rate of 100 hertz and with a bit depth of eight bits, what would the file size be? 100 multiplied by eight equals 800. 800 multiplied by 120 equals 96,000. 96,000 divided by eight equals 12,000 bytes. 12,000 divided by 1024 equals 11.72 kilobytes. So, sound is a continuous analog wave. Sound is stored in a digital form using an analog to digital converter. A sample is a measurement of the height of the wave. A sample rate is the number of samples taken per second. Duration is the length of the sample. Bit depth is the number of bits per sample. A higher sample rate and bit depth will give better quality audio. However, higher sample rates and bit depth, along with the sound duration, will increase the audio file size. File size is sample rate multiplied by bit depth multiplied by duration.